Have you learned anything more about this fascinating mystery? Their reason is now more focused. This time they've come to see you. Huh? But what for? It's embarrassing, but this punch-happy fool here won't stop begging huh? me to fight you again. So I said I'd ask, just to shut uh, him up. I tried to tell him you were far too busy. But once he gets an idea in his head, there's no point. Uh-uh, what are you talking about? No! Hey, easy! Why did you punch me again? What did I do I now? I thought I told you not to say a word! Okay, okay, I'm sorry, but you still didn't have to hit me! Have you ever heard of a friendly reminder? I'm being friendly by not destroying you. Perhaps they're more capable than I thought. If that's what you want, then I'd be happy to. Uh -huh. Last time, I was too reluctant. I simply forgot how hard it is for mortals to restrain themselves. A good host does not disappoint his guests. Let's begin. No, no. You're clearly in the middle of your tea time. It was our impropriety for coming uninvited to ask. I'll be sure to give this one a severe chewing out when we get back home. Oh, my lord, look at the time. I didn't realize it had gotten so late. We're completely off schedule and you're overdue for your rest. Uh. Hmm. <sighs> We all know how cranky I can get when I'm feeling sleepy. Ah, I need that nap pronto. That yawn seems fake. <laughs> oh, silly me. I nearly forgot to give you your present as well. I'm on quite the roll today. And what is that? Premium tea leaves and several sticky rice cakes with an assortment of sweet fillings. A most delightful snack from our planet Earth in the seventh. Ah, that does sound tasty. Surprisingly springy, aren't they? They are indeed. I believe it has something to do with the glutinous nature of the rice grains. And just wait until you taste what's inside. One bite and you'll be transported. It's indescribable. <sighs> you'll never think of bean paste the same way again. And please, make sure you have it with the tea. The pairing is absolute perfection. There's no denying it. We do have a soft spot for cakes and tea around here. Thank you for this generous gift. You're welcome anytime. Until we meet again, Supreme Kai. Now, Saiyan. Oh, are you guys sure leaving is a good idea? Just keep walking, Goku. <sighs> a rare and special treat, Zabasu. Let's enjoy it together. Yes, Master. I'd love to. Ah! Hey! Please catch me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Well then, what do you think? It's as we suspected. There's no doubt about it. He plans to kill Goasu in cold blood. Uh, for real? How do you know? Zamasu's aura completely reeked of murderous intentions, Goku. The only stench fouler is when my lord breaks wind. That's both rude and untrue. I'll have you know mine smell like roses. You're saying you could sense it in his energy? But I didn't sense anything from him at all. Well, of course, Lord Beerus is a destroyer, which makes him highly attuned to these destructive inclinations. Naturally, the same goes for his attendant. What about Goasu? You think he knows? I would say he probably hasn't noticed it yet. He's a Supreme Kai like I am, and I didn't sense Zamasu's bloodlust. Then what are we doing? We've got to get back and save him! There's no need to panic, Goku. If Zamasu is going to kill a Supreme Kai, then I'll end his life without hesitation. But I can't take action against a high-level deity without some proof. But you said he's gonna do it! What good is proof if Goasu's already dead? I understand your concern, but we're talking about the future Supreme Kai of the Tenth Universe. An outside destroyer cannot simply obliterate him because he harbors dark intentions. Such an act would throw the entire multiverse into chaos. For the moment, all we can do is watch what happens next. Here is your special Earth tea, Master Goasu. Oh, well that's unusual. It's green. The aroma is striking as well. Uh, what if he put poison in there? Lord Beerus! Let's see what this is uh. tea tastes like. It has a gentle flavor that's most soothing to the soul. <sighs> he hasn't made the slightest aggressive move. Are you positive he intends to strike him down? There's not a doubt in my mind, Kai. Well, all I can tell is he sure enjoyed those snacks. This is making me hungry. Have patience, Goku. I doubt it will be much longer. Excuse me, Master. Mm hmm? Something on your mind? Yes, sir. I have realized I was mistaken after all. 
Huh? I've had some more time to reconsider what you told me after our trip into the Barbary's future. About the interplay between good and evil. You told me that one can succumb to evil and then come out with a new understanding. Thanks to you, I see the role dark deeds can play. Such ugly acts can be necessary to achieve a more perfect end. Yes, Samasu. I knew you were wise enough to understand if given enough time. Hmm. I'm pleased you've seen that truth. <laughs> no way! He wouldn't! Lord Beerus! <laughs> that was a close call. I should be more careful. They get stuck in your throat. An obvious hazard, but I was too delighted to notice. Do something! We can't keep watching from the sideline. If we don't act now, he'll die! Why are you waiting? Did you already forget about my power? Oh yeah, of course! That whole temporal do-over thing! You can just wind back the clock! That's the certainty we needed. Then I believe it's time. Just what do you have there, Zamasu? A massage glove? Uh, no, I, I don't know. Huh? I'm sorry, did I get in your way? Lord Beerus, what, what's going on? How long have you been here? An excellent question. I was under the impression you'd left. Sorry, there's one more matter we need to discuss. What matter? That your beloved apprentice is currently trying to kill you. Uh, what are you talking about? See for yourself, Supreme Kai. Zamasu, what is this? Uh, if I had not placed that kitten mitten on his hand, then your long life would have come to a most abrupt end. Zamasu, I need you to explain yourself immediately. Hmm. hmm. Allow me to explain for him. Zamasu's objective is to kill you and claim the time ring for himself, giving him immense power. That can't be! I'm afraid so, my fellow Kai. And with you gone, there would be no one in this universe to impede his plans. Just what plans are those? Our guess? He's going to use the Super Dragon Balls to make himself indestructible, then use them again to create a counterfeit Goku so he can eradicate all mortals from the living world. <sighs> I thought you overcame those impulses and turned over a new leaf. Zabasu! You have misunderstood me, Master. There is no other leaf. There is only divine justice, and it demands that I serve it well. Evil must be destroyed, no matter the price. Zamasu! I assume Zuno tipped you off, though I admit I'm impressed you deduced my whole plan from what I asked him. We didn't have to guess much at all. I saw the future with my own eyes! What's that? You traveled to the future? Yeah, that's right, I did. And thanks to you, whole cities were in ruins. Countless lives were completely destroyed. Huh? Is that a fact, Goku? That means in this future, my dreams have come true. Well, all the more reason why I can't let you interlopers get in the way of them now. Sorry, Kai, but your luck has run out. Not to be. Hi, Whis. I need to clear out the cobwebs. What a drag.